I lost a bag of fuck here. We are on Fengshi Road now at this place. That this particular building brings so much memories of me and Amaka coming here to have your go see a movie when I stay down here. I literally live on Fengshi Road, guys. So I'm just looking at this place, just memories. See my charity shop. Uh -huh. We're probably gonna want to come in back. Hey! So we're gonna eat here and then I think we'll do um, Fengshi Road today and then also oxford circus you guys energy is not oxford circus so we'll do those two today and i'll do like i'll just continue trying to do the rest of the seven or whatever with my other friends hello energy things we road i love them long they notice i'm not joking no matter guys them them know me since oh six i've been writing this story i know be your Over 10. Over 10. 4. 4. 4. Why? Because um, the chicken wasn't fresh. It tasted. It's been in the freezer for a while. Okay, yeah. okay guys, so I'm done eating. Um, just in the old feedback, uh, my moi moi was tasty. It had pepper, so there's someone that doesn't like pepper. I don't even know what that was in the moi moi. The service was nice as we came, we, we were offered seats, we were even given like options to choose the seats we wanted, we chose the way we ordered our food, we came from I don't think we waited up to 10 minutes for the food to come. I had one piece from Mariah's chicken and I think the chicken was spiced well but I just thought it was a bit dry, but I guess people like it like that. Yeah, so that's about it guys with Emish French people. The ambience is nice, comfortable, you sit down well, it's comfortable. Um, I've come here obviously with my friend because she loved the Jonah Price, like seriously, she loved that. Like, she literally stayed in London for a month and every other day she was coming to this particular energy to Israel. I'm here now, I'm just remembering this night, remembering when I come here with her some, on some of the days. So that's it for Enish. I'll put the address, it's on Finchley Road, so for people that are in Northwest, I actually literally live on this road before, so memories, like literally on this road. For like two, two to three years. Anyway, the address will be in the description box. And this is, um, yeah, one of the energies in London. We're going to the Oxford Street one now, and we'll call it a day for still also done with that. So, yeah, it was also really good seeing the chefs. It's been an absolute while. I saw chefs. So, yeah, but I'm having Chapman without alcohol. You can actually have alcohol in your Chapman. Let me not make this video too long and um, make care of you, and then we will go. <laughs> Oh, baby, you got back. That looks like we're going to fuck here. Oh, baby, you got back. We're at Oxford Street now for our next stop of Anish, which is Anish Oxford Street. I think it's on Bena Street, according to my Google Maps. Oxford Street is always crazy busy. I guess, like, it's like this one there, and over here, there's a guy blowing the trumpet. And there's Mariah here. I'm tired. Ah! <laughs> I'm stressing my life. City came out. That's best, one of the best game outs in London. One of the best CK Maxes in London. Yep. They have like real good designers, like proper size 9, 8, and stuff. So, yeah, see you when we get to any. I should have seen, guys, this place is beautiful. Like, seriously, they try to really bring out the London from this place. You know how most cafes try to get flowers, the telephone box, and all that. Like, they, they came all out for this particular venue. So, yeah, my chairman here is about to eat. She's hungry, tired, so I need to eat her. So, guys, it um, looks at the menu. Obviously, we're trying to order, and then we can realize the menu in Oxford Street is way more expensive than the menu. 
in Prince Fury Road. So for instance, the moi moi I had there for 4 99 is 10 pounds, guys. This five is it? Budokro, <laughs> like this ever. Where is it? Oh, it's 45 now. You said 55. Mariah, where's one that you said it was 65 now? So there's seafood for you for pink seafood. And we'll pin here to five pounds. I think that's what I want to have. So I have this time at any. Anywho, we've ordered. I think we're going to have a meal together. We'll just have like cook up fish. Because um, Mariah says tilapia fish is fattening and it's boning. So we're going to have cook up fish and plantain. And then we've got to order our drinks. I'm going to show you the menu now just so you compare somehow. Nearly to that. <laughs> Even this looks a bit nicer, guys. <laughs> Guys, so we're done eating here. How was the fish, Mariah? Not as big as I thought it would be. Yeah, true. Mariah actually asked her, like, I, I thought it was big. Yeah. But I need to salt. I would say that as so. well. Overall, okay. Five Over out ten. of ten. Five out of ten. So they're a bit higher than fish here. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> say it again. Ambience, I'll give it eight out of ten. Okay, yeah, they, they, they did something. They actually did something. I'm sure you guys have seen how the place looks. Seriously, because they know it's yeah, so that's about it. So, um, what I say, the fish was really salty to be honest. And to be honest, I, kept, I was a bit put off with the prices because everything was different from what I just seen some minutes ago in the Finchley Road. But obviously, I understand the rent here is higher. And um, staff wise, I don't know, there was a bit of attitude, I would lie. But all in all, everything was okay. We got our drinks, got our food, and then she helped us think a couple pictures and give us sweets and then she's really nice like as we live now but there's some really nice people that sat here they just saw us and like i want to give you guys pictures and she really helps us take like good quality pictures so um i love the fact that i'm sitting on table number one because i am number one yeah so um yeah that's it for this place we just paid our bill obviously things went a bit higher here but it's fine I want to get a hobby for hobby, but I think I'll just wait for us to go to the one in Old Road and get him on hobby from that one. Dallas of Bego Poké, Opi Bio Poké, Opi Gio Poké. Thanks for watching. See you at the next episode. Opi Gio Poké. Um, Brixton verdict, I would say like a 95 to be honest. Everyone was really nice, it was cute, M good music was playing on the television. When I got in initially, I don't know the girl there, I she first of all acted like she had an attitude, but I don't think she did because she was really pleasant, like throughout my stay there. So, um, yeah, I ordered the same thing I had ordered when I went to the French which was Moi Moi. 
it came out quite quick so i guess they made it in the morning because on today is sunday and on sunday they start by one so yeah it came out quick and it was tasty it tasted fresh when well, i was nice as when i had a filter yeah so um yeah so um i was with my friend she didn't she's still just being long and um delayed so i'll just continue my day probably see if i can do another one probably the okay will do that's me off my way but i'll see how this happens and then because i didn't like i didn't have my friend i don't my switch was kind of down i was like let me do a bit more here because there was obviously no food from her to eat and tell us how it was so what i did was to check out their toilet and guys the toilet was really neat 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 yeah obviously i went to the ladies it was neat just clean modern if i would say like no rubbish you'll be happy to be there but obviously i didn't use it because i didn't, <laughs> didn't really want to use the toilet so yeah anish brixton this is the first time i'm ever hearing you even exist and then it was not even long from the train station from brixton underground station rather just take the 45 the p4 or the 35 and it's like two three stops yeah i think it's called um brixton station road yes hi there this is the next nh we're going to today it's evening i went to somewhere with my friend and then we decided to go to nh just so that we can continue this content and show you more and more nh is going to nh in camberwell i think it's called nh buka and something i can't remember it's a bad man thing yeah yeah bad girl make you want to this nana Every time I go to NH, I always just wait for them to stay. We need attention, just press the cover. <laughs> Anywho, so we're here now and it looks good. You see, I'm sure you saw some videos. I'm going to make other videos um, after I take my order and then go to the bathroom. Yeah. Hi, Kevin. I'm having, um, I haven't had jello fries in a long time. So. Yeah, jello fries is good. Yeah. So I want to have jello fries and then as soon as soon and then plantain. I'm thinking Abula because I can't find okra seafood. They have okra plain. Just the plain beside it is already dis 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 discouraging even yeah. for someone that likes okra the money. Um, so I think I'll have abula and then assorted meat and then I'll have ukwabi to go. The hamster. Did I even order a drink? Okay, I said palm wine. Yeah, yeah, yeah so palm I'm wine. having palm wine. All right, guys. So we're going to try to place our order, and I'm having abula sorted. She's having rice. She told you. And I'm having palm when I told you, so we're going to the toilet now. Yeah, they have something like this in Finchy Road as well, just a random downstairs thing. Follow me, follow me, I go give you follow me, follow me. I'm more too sure, say she moving to the baseline. Double is she a wine, then come on, wanna praise the wine. She a gypsy girl, she a fine like a sunrise The way she move make a man cry I'm feeling her, feeling her so I want in, I want in, I want in her more Let me blow, tell me what you want to know Me I no go lose control Bad man I feel your flow, why I'm slow This one no be private show Let me blow, tell me what you want to know I did an update. Guys, we're done eating now. We're just waiting for our bill. We're waiting for a minute. So, obviously, you know, I had a bowl up. I love every bit of it. But, yeah, man, I finished on time. I was still expecting to see some wonder. I said, <laughs> so, but the soup was a lot. The meat was a lot as well. So, I, I had them to go there in the box every time. So I'm not And then, I go go with I already told you she had to her restaurant. So, let's hear from Agogo how I experienced at Enish Camberwell. It was lovely. Yeah, the food has been kind of like, like, as soon as I almost taste my own copy, we are soon. Yeah, they are already making it. This is nice. Yeah. Alrighty, bye bye. Bye. Alright, people, so I'll obviously see you on the next one. This is not the last one you see on the next video. We'll be having a meal at Eddie. Yeah, guys, so we're about to go in. One eternity later. My husband, he says, when he's in the restaurant and he's waiting for the check, and they, he's waiting for like 15 to 30 minutes. When they're not coming, they'll just get up, and as it's going, they'll run after him. Exactly. Say, huh? I thought you people did not want to want me to pay. Uh, maybe you wanted to give me a free meal. Ah, these people. I, I hate waiting for check, especially. And I'ma give you anything you want. And I'ma give you anything you need. Bad man here, why not? 
said I'm in love. I'm Hi guys, so right now we are going to Enish in Covent Garden. Like I didn't even know they had one in Covent Garden. Apparently they even have a night beach. So I'll try to go to Covent Garden one today and then maybe the night beach one another day. I'm meeting up with my friend and so that let's meet there so just so that I can you know scope the place and give you guys the tea on Enish. <laughs> Enish, well done guys. So yeah, come along and let's go to Enish in Covent Garden. Yeah. Listening to Drace Productions. One the single amo, yeah. Ah, 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 ah. Oni amo if I go by me, oni amo if I shake me leash, oni oluwa de go by me, oni amo if I go by me, amo if I go by me, yeah. Oni amo if I go by me, but oluwa de go by me, oni amo if I go by. Easy on the boy, baby take it easy on the boy. I know your skin tight, but easy on the boy. Hey hey, so today's Sunday. I'm going to see my friends after a long time. Like my friends I shoot with. And guess where we're meeting? We're meeting at Anish Night Bridge. So this is my first time here, obviously. And yeah, I would love to take you along just so you see how Anish Night Bridge is. And I think this will be the last of my Anish um, jump. I'll say in London. So yeah, come along with me and let's have a good time. You know, meeting up with the girls and then having good food. Give me steadily. Why not your body daily? No matter. No matter. Give me any how you feel I'm on You make my head to swell. I make a man feel sweat. Hey. Baby love me. Come in, and then now they've now added the meeting to the Baby, love me gently. Baby, touch me gently. I know you want me. I know you want me. Want me. Good figure can hold liquor. Like sugar can mess with her. One me got run with her. She's a lot. Them digger, no man fi waste your time. Say no man fi catch your vibe. No and then they man can get it right. Wait, bad man fi waste no time. Wind up your body, girlie, no matter, no pattern. Give me any how you feel, I'm on You make my head to swell, I make a man fi sweat. Hey. Baby, love me. Baby, kiss me gently. Your pain sometimes fail. It's just okay. I like the smell. A bit tough, but. Your puff puff. Puff puff was really nice. Your funicle. Didn't like it. Too salty. Meat was too chopped. My eyelash was the smell and the puff puff. I had to eat it because I was very hungry. This is the first edge you're coming to? No, this is the fourth one. and The other three has been really good. This one was very disappointing. Salty. The chop one was really small. Yeah. It tasted good. Puff puffs. <laughs> the last Anish, which is the one on Old Kent Road. Guys, I'm here now with my friend, the same friend I took to Canva with Agogo. Brought her here again. So, we're going to review Anish Old Kent Road. Funny enough, I'd come here before, but it was owned by someone else. Now, Anish has taken over and they've written their name all over the place. Remember the last time I came here, you couldn't even know there was a restaurant there. But uh, Anish with their lights. You see, when I come out of this place, yeah, let's have a good time at Anish. <laughs>
I hope you guys have been convinced and not confused to visit the next Enish wherever you go. As I said, I'm really impressed with the fact that they've, you know, opened so many branches, even diversified outside the country. You guys in Dubai, I'm sure you guys even have like two of the of Enishes there and stuff. Yeah, it's just so impressive. So this is the last one, and I think I actually saved the best for last because yeah, it's pretty stunning, simply gorgeous. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching this video. Big thumb up button, drop a comment because I love to read from you. Share this video with your friends, your family, anyone who's coming to London and needs Nigerian food. It's just come here. This is a good place to get the best impression of Nigerian food. Share this video with your friends, your family. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Subscribe if you haven't.